AR-15. This model here has a chrome lined barrel for durability and the modular design means you can customize nearly everything. Today, let's join Captain Discovery on an exciting tour of the AR-15 gun factory. Get ready to see how these iconic rifles are made from start to finish. Subscribe now and join the Captain Discovery journey. They aim to make a lightweight, reliable rifle for the U.S. military, using aluminum. This modified version, the M16, became the iconic service weapon used in the Vietnam War. While the M16 thrived in the military, the civilian AR-15 remained a niche product. The term modern sporting rifle and the modularity of the platform really stands out. You can swap this upper receiver in seconds. Yes, that makes it incredibly versatile for different scenarios. The AR-15's modular design allows for extensive customization. This flexibility is a major reason for its enduring popularity. Owners can personalize their rifles for specific uses. Today, the AR-15 is still a popular choice among U.S. gun owners. Its versatility for activities like question tonight on AR-15 style weapons. Suspects in Uvalde and in Buffalo had both just turned 18 and both had just bought their AR-15 rifles. Welcome to the production process. Quality control check on station 4, immediately. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Before we start, here's the Captain Discovery Quiz! What is one of the key reasons for the AR-15's popularity? The answer will be revealed at the end of the video. Share your answer in the comment below now. To show you more about the process of making an AR, we'll head to the Daniel Defense Factory in Georgia, one of the largest AR industries in the US.
Everything starts with the AR-15 sketch from engineers, with the use of CAD software by creating detailed 3D models to ensure each part fits together perfectly. After selecting the best materials like aluminium for the receivers and steel for the barrel, they test these materials for strength and durability. Then, let's get into the next step, crafting. Every barrel starts as a piece of bar stock. This bar stock is fed into one of their two gun drills, which cuts a precision hole directly down the middle. Next, the bar stock goes into a machine for hammer forging. The hammer forging process, which takes three. The key to this process is the mandrel, a piece of steel with the reverse image of the rifling. As the bar stock is fed over the mandrel. Look at this. Then we have the handguard and charging handle, all made by machine. With success cons the ability to invest in top-tier machinery, such as a Cerakote robot, which enhances efficiency and consistency. Now that we have all the accessories, it's time for the most exciting part, assembling the complete gun. Finish the big order just in time. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that's done. Time to hit the road. <laughs> Sounds good. See you in the morning. <laughs> 